Welcome to our lecture online. So what is the UERE? Well, the definition says that it's the user equivalent range error. Well, what is that? Well, remember that we had pseudo ranges and then we want to find the true geometric range and then we had to subtract or add a whole bunch of changes or alternate numbers based on all kinds of biases in the theory of relativity and the ionosphere and the troposphere and so forth. Well, they're all combined into something called the UERE to make things easier. Now, of course, each of the individual components have to be calculated and then put into that thing which we call the UERE. Essentially, since we can count on the same clock error for the receiver in every measurement because it's the same receiver that's trying to find the distance to each satellite, and of course, since we assume that the clocks of the satellites are all fairly close to one another and therefore a relatively small part of error, but the change, the bias of the receiver clock can be quite large. And so we calculate what that is. And then we also make adjustments for all the other components in the error to find the true geometric range. And then we can assume that that is going to be the same for every satellite. So if this is the, if this is the position of the receiver and we get all the biases from all these error measurements, we then can say that for this satellite, the receiver appears to be over here. For this satellite, the receiver appears to be over here. Relative to this satellite, the receiver appears to be here. Relative to this satellite, the receiver appears to be here. And that extra distance that seems to be added to the real true range, well, that's the same for every one of the measurements because they all depend on the same uh, pseudo range measurement and, or measurement taken at the same time, and the error in the clock, the error of the receiver. And so, therefore, we know that they're all the same. And so then, simply then, to find the true geometric range between the satellite and the receiver, we simply take the pseudo range measurement for each of the receivers, i is the number of each satellite, minus the UERE, which is the same for every one of them. So that makes the job at least a little bit cleaner and easier to work with. We just need to figure out how to come up with this value. And that will then give us the range to each satellite. Notice the UERE is going to be the same for every measurement. The pseudo range, of course, is going to depend upon which satellite we're measuring from or to. Whatever you want to say. All right, so that is the UERE. Now we're going to show you some videos that show you how that is actually calculated in real life in, on GPS and then how it's incorporated into the measurements eventually to get as accurate as possible to the geometric range from each satellite. And that is how it's done.